In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars The Retro Collection Mandalorian way. Hello, <laughs> Star Wars Collectors, and welcome to another Bosk's Bounty video. As you can see in front of you, I have the latest retro collection wave. It's the Mandalorian wave. There are seven figures to go through. We're going to be opening all of them in this video. I was planning on maybe doing some separate video reviews for all of them, but I thought I'll just get it over and done with in one video. We're just going to take a quick look at the card backs and then we're going to open them all up and take a look at the figures individually. So stick around for the rest of the video. And if you do happen to enjoy it, don't forget to drop a like down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel, of course. So first up, let's have a look at the card backs. Now, of course, these seven aren't the first Mandalorian retro collection figures that we've seen. We did get this one first, which is the Remnant Stormtrooper. He was part of the Monopoly game that you had to buy to get this figure. So he is exclusive to that. Bit annoying that, but here's the other seven that we've got and we're gonna open them all up as I mentioned. I do apologize about the glare. Having them all here with the lights, we're getting a little bit of reflection. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take some of them out of the way to reduce the glare and then we can look at them one by one. All right then, so first up we have the Mandalorian himself. Now we're very used to this card back, of course, because it is the same image that was used for the original Mandalorian in the vintage collection. So we've seen the card before. It's pretty much exactly the same, but with all this distressed look around the edge, which if you're a fan of this channel, you'll know that I really don't like. I am also not a fan of the sticker and just to confirm it is a sticker. So if you did want to take that off, you could take it off. It is absolutely huge, but there he is in his bubble. Now, I'm only gonna show the back of the cards once because they are all the same. And as you can see there, it just gives you the names of the other figures that are in the wave, but the rest of it is just a bunch of gump. This bit here says the Star Wars Retro Collection is inspired by 1970s Star Wars figures and features original figure design and detailing. Continue your collection from the galaxy far, far away. Um, a little bit disappointed as well that we've got the white piece of paper in there and it isn't neatly folded to, at the bottom of his feet. That is another disappointment. You can really see it there. That's just not great at all. These figures, a lot of people want them just to remain in the packaging and that sort of thing for me, you know, ruins the aesthetic a little bit. Next up we have IG-11. Now remember I did say that we will be opening these up. I just want to take a quick look at the card. Now this one's interesting to me because we haven't actually seen this card yet. And I would imagine that this is going to be the card that they would use for the vintage collection. Again, you've got that distressed look. The image they've used there is a nice image, but I've got to say, it looks a little bit out of focus once again. Now the rocks behind the character are definitely blurry because that's obviously the focus, but even this, his head just looks a little bit out of focus for me. It could be my eyes, but you know, I just could be getting old, but I, to me, it looks a little bit out of focus, but maybe that's the aesthetic they're going for, that whole vintage feel. I know a lot of the images that we used back in the day weren't great, but anyway, that's the IG-11 card. Next up, we have the Queel figure, and this card back is absolutely stunning. Really good image. Unlike the IG-11 figure, it is not out of focus whatsoever. He's on the hill there, just looking down on the camp from episode one of season one. Just about to say, I have spoken as he turns away. Fantastic image of Quill. And I've got to say, this is the sort of image that I imagined or hoped that they would use. And you can imagine that this is going to be the same card back for the vintage collection when we eventually get Quill in that line. Kenna logo at the bottom, of course, again. Uh, so that's Quill. Next up, we have the child. And man, look at the size of those bubbles. Look at those. That is just crazy. So you've got the child, the frog, the little stand for his pod. And that is a different image to the one that they've used for the vintage collection child. And it's gonna be a different one that they're using for the exclusive one that comes with the Razor Crest. I imagine they've had to pick that image because obviously they need an image that's gonna fit in with the size of the bubble, which is just, as I say, crazy, crazy big. But um, again, that's one that we haven't seen before. Now the next three, again, we have seen before because we've had them in the vintage collection. So this card back is exactly the same as they've used for the vintage collection, except for the retro collection sticker is, is hiding his dark saber. But apart from that, it's exactly the same. Same for Cara June, exactly the same. Now, of course, this figure did cause some controversy. We weren't sure if we we're actually gonna be getting it or not, but she is included in the wave. Of course she is. And there's the figure in the bubble exactly the same card back so there's not really anything to see here and again grief Carga from season two exactly the same figure that we've just got in the vintage collection recent wave so it's using the same card back all right so now you've seen all the card backs i'm going to open them all up get the figures out and we're going to check them out okay then here they all are out of the packaging and first impressions is that i 
I absolutely love them. I think they are great. If you're into the vintage Star Wars figures, then you're probably going to like these. I know a lot of people weren't keen on the idea of sort of modern characters being put into the retro collection. They didn't seem to think that it fit. And I can understand their opinion on that. But I've got to say, it's a, it's a good thing that they've done these. I think they're great. If you're into your vintage Star Wars figures, then I think you're going to like them. I really do. So let's take a look at Cara Dune to begin with. Nice up and close. And there she is. Obviously, they're not going to have a massive likeness because they are very sort of dumbed down in terms of the detail. But they look great. And I tell you what, the joints are stiff. The weapons fit in their hands correctly. They don't fall out like some of the previous retro collection figures. And I've just got her other weapon on the back of her back there, as you can see, like that. And yeah, obviously, they're only 5 po 8 So just up and down. The heads move left and right. And obviously, you've got the legs like so all of the figures are the same but i just wanted to give you a look in detail at what they look like just to show off all the paintwork and what have you and they're not bad at all so that's cara dune next up we have moff gideon and he's the first one that i'm going to show you that has a darth vader inspired cape and it feels pretty much identical uh, it's very difficult to tell the difference but there he is his arm is really really shiny and the little face sculpt there with his little moustache pretty cool i like the way they've just used the same lightsaber that came with the luke skywalker uh, bespin figure from the retro collection but obviously that was yellow and this one is gray and it seems to have these little sort of dimples in it if you like which I think are specific for the for the dark saber. Here's his little blaster. Very very basic. You know, there's not a lot of detail on these, and and you wouldn't expect there to be either because obviously they're supposed to be mimicking the the retro vintage Kenner figures. And there he is. So that's Moff Gideon. pretty awesome now this one i did want to compare so this one's ig11 and i just want to bring in my vintage ig88 now what i would say is that the detailing the sculpting isn't so intricate on the new one it's the old one is much more refined there's a lot more details going on there whereas this one's a bit more i don't know soft if you like is a good probably a good way of explaining it um the the guns that they've gone for or the blasters they've gone for are the same as the as the original ones kind of so they've gone for like the stormtrooper blaster for the other one so just like you would get with ig88 they've gone for the same style blasters this guy's like a brownie bronze colored figure obviously the head moves the joints are very very stiff which is awesome. You can see his feet there. So yeah, overall, very impressed. I do like the look of them. Let's have a look at Grief Karga. <laughs> see the paintwork on his face is nothing like the vintage collection one. And you wouldn't expect it to be, of course. I do have a bit of overspill there on his shirt, which is a bit annoying. Um, so this is a uh, grief cargo from season two in his like magistrates outfit I guess he does have a holster sculpted into his leg but it's not a working holster you can't put that gun in there it's it's just molded for effect and again this one comes with a cape similar to uh, Moff Gideon there but yeah all in all not a bad looking figure Now, this is the one that I was really looking forward to is the Quill figure. Not really too sure about the paintwork in terms of the choice of colours that they've gone for. But I do like the little head sculpt of Quill there. He looks pretty decent and his head will turn. But very, very stiff. So you just need to loosen that up a bit. He comes with an, an oversized blaster there. But yeah. Good little head sculpt on him. Do you like the goggles? 
but yeah, very, very basic paintwork. But as I say, you expect that. Moving on to the main man himself, the Mandalorian. It is based on his outfit from the beginning of season one. So pretty much the only piece of Beskar that he has is the helmet. He does have a cape, which is not as dark a black as the other two figures. This is more of a brown, but it is a very, very dark brown. So it's very hard to tell the difference, but there is a difference. It is brown. And as you can see, he's got all his armor colorings there from the very first episode of season one where he's walking through that marketplace. He comes with a little blaster there, which is very reminiscent to his blaster from the show, but obviously, of course, you know, not so finely detailed. And he also does have his uh, disintegrator rifle as well, which is too long for him to stand up with if you have his arm all the way down. As you can see, it goes past his leg. So if you want him to stand up, you've got to have it you know, po poking out a little bit like that. It doesn't have a peg to fit on his back. So I did try and take his cape off and there is no hole on his back. So don't expect to be able to do that. But there he is, that's the Mandalorian looking pretty cool. Now onto the child. Now this is the fourth child that we've had in various scales. So we've now got the retro collection one, which is supposedly 3.75. We've had the Black Series one, we've had the Vintage Collection one, and we've had the Mission Fleet one, which are slightly smaller scale. They're like two and a half inch figures. So let's do a little comparison. So here we have the Vintage Collection one. Then we have the Retro Collection one, which is quite a bit bigger considering they're supposed to be the same scale of figures. And then we have the Black Series one. So what you'll see is that the Retro Collection 3.75 inch child is actually bigger than the black series version which is interesting so you've got vintage collection highly detailed little figure you've got black series again obviously highly detailed and then you have a slightly dumbed down version not so intricate in the detail of course because it is for the retro collection but it's bigger than the other two which i which i do find interesting um so there you go that's just a bit of a comparison there with the other two figures now he does come with this pod and a frog. So there's a little frog, but he does come with the pod and it has this like sand effect there with a little stand and the lid comes off and you can just plonk him in like that. And I would imagine, I would hope that you can close it up, which you can, and there he is. So just to give you a bit of detail on him there, all in all a nice little figure. but certainly a lot bigger than a vintage collection one. So that is the vintage collection one. He's actually that big compared to Grief Cargo there, which is quite funny, isn't it? So there you go then, guys. That is a closer look at all of the retro collection Mandalorian figures in the wave. The only one that I haven't opened is the Remnant Stormtrooper because I want to keep him on card. I do have another set of these to keep carded for the wall but i had to open these up to show you guys uh it wouldn't be a proper review otherwise so there they all are out of the packaging the retro collection mandalorian figures i'm personally very very happy with them of course i would prefer it if they kept it to the retro figures the vintage figures if they're going to do that if they're going to go down that route then maybe i would have preferred a return of the jedi wave but i'm sure that's to come they're not going to not do that it just might not be this year so there you go then guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, let me know what you think of these figures. I hope you've enjoyed the video, drop a like down below if you've enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new, and we shall see you on the next one.